The work that's being done is the demolition of the vestry block, which is a rather ugly brick-built block, added to in the 1970s with an even uglier brick-built block. That's coming down and it will be replaced by uh, rooms at two levels, meeting room upstairs, meeting rooms, vestries, toilets and an office downstairs. This is a living building. It is used throughout the week, not just for services, but for other activities. And our extension will enhance the building and enrich the building for visitors such as that. There's been a, you know, a number of challenges. Firstly, it's a, it is a listed building in a conservation area, so uh, the design response uh, needs to be a sensitive one in terms of uh, the conservation issues that there are. Also, the, uh, the site is um, relatively constrained, so um, the parameters for development have been, uh, have been limited. So that, you know, those, are, those are aspects that have certainly influenced the design. The church needs to remain live during the, the project. So uh, ourselves and, and Robert Woodheads are doing some sort of detailed uh, preparation now so that the, the church can remain functional and everybody can be uh, inconvenienced as little as possible whilst we, whilst we make progress to deliver the project. Very excited, particularly at working with Robert Woodhead, because I sense that uh, the firm has considerable experience of working in this sort of building and in this sort of relationship. Um, there will be tensions, I'm sure, but I think they will not be without the possibility of resolution. Um, so I'm excited about that and I'm excited about working with them, not just watching what they do, but in working creatively together as we work in dialogue, because other questions will come up while the building is going on, all the questions aren't answered yet, and we will find creative solutions to those questions, challenges, as we go along. I think it'll be a very amicable relationship.